Hello, folks. Welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks. It's a Sunday night. I wanted to do a follow-up uh, message video for, you know, do, um, my, my Dash for Sunday. Um, so I'll just give you a recap. I went out at 9 o'clock this morning, worked from 9 to 1.30, made 85. I ended up making $85, which I was shocked. But I ended up having to put 20 20 of it in for gas. I mean, I didn't have to because I was only down a quarter of a tank. But I said, let me just throw that in now because whenever I drive by a gas station that has, you know, cheaper gas than other places that I've been, always, always do that. That's my my tip for you. Because why pay higher when you can get it cheaper, even if it's 10 cents, 7 cents, whatever it is. Go for the cheaper gas and make sure your car's always filled. That's my motto anyways. But anyways, so I did that. So I ended up making 65 for the lunch. Went home, relaxed, took a nap for a little while so I could get refreshed for tonight. Because my plan was to stay out till 10 or 11 tonight. But the problem is, is it's like where I live, everything just slows down to a crawl right around like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Then you start getting like Five Guys Burgers, um... Wendy's, McDonald's, you know, just, and they come in slow, slowly. But the other problem is, is because of, we have the overall summer slowdown, which has happened through this, this summer from basically right after May into June, everything started slowing down. Then into July, really slow. And now it's, it's slow and even slower, right? That's hopefully going to pick up in the next couple of weeks. People are still on vacation. People are taking last-minute vacations. And people are enjoying going out and eating. And I don't blame them, you know. It's like, why? No one wants to stay home all day and order DoorDash, <laughs> right? Or, oh, let me stay in and order DoorDash. I mean, the problem is, is that these companies have overcompensated, hired way too many drivers. And they're going to, a lot of drivers are not going to be able to hang in there. They're going to, they're going to fall off and drop off some of them it'll be probably 20 30 40 percent of the drivers who normally would drive in a lot that'll be like screw this i'm not doing anymore and they'll quit right but then you'll have a new influx of drivers that will come in that are always coming in especially in the fall and everything else and then a lot of the college kids will borrow mommy and daddy's car and when they're not in class and they'll use that to dash for for part-time money it always happens that way because I live near a college or a couple of colleges near where I'm at, right? So anyways, there's that factor. Now, um, so the total for today with after gas and everything is, well, I made 160 in eight hours. I could have stayed out longer. I could probably make 200 bucks, but... As long as, I mean, for me, I, I, I want to hit 200. I mean, absolutely. But if I hit the 160 mark and I've already put in eight hours, I pretty much say, okay, I'm done. Now, that doesn't happen all the time, folks. There's nights where it's, a, it's $100 after eight hours or $90. We all know those days, right? Sunday typically is a good day. Timothy Slaughter, one of my subs, subscribers here, he, he mentioned that, that Sunday's his best day. And when it's game time, when, when, the, when the NFL's going and all that, you get a lot of factors of people ordering, you know, food because they're watching games and, and basketball and all of that. So hopefully things will pick up slightly normal. However, this is not a normal time we're in because of the inflation, because of the shortages. Remember the ships offshore that weren't coming in and delivering items? Now though, some of those ships have come in and they've dropped off a lot of goods but a lot of these stores, people aren't buying non-essential items. They're not buying cameras and televisions and PlayStation games and all of these things that they thought they were going to be able to buy because now everyone's broke and everyone's just trying to survive and try to get through, you know, they're, they're trying to get, you know, food on the table is what they're trying to do, which is smart. And... um a lot of stores, Walmarts and stuff are all short on, on a lot of items and stuff. I mean, there's still plenty of food out there, folks, but it's going to get, you know, picky here and there. And then you have the factor of all of these, um, like, chain stores like Taco Bell, which I refuse to go to, 
and other ones that like close their um they close their their drive through I mean they close their lobby and make make it so you can only go through the drive through and those you you want to stay away from like the plague folks because that's a first come first serve order basis you don't have any preference to be able to pick up like an order that's waiting it could be sitting in there you could be in line for 30 minutes 40 minutes for, forget that I would suggest staying away from all of the fast food places unless you know them and you know that they're open and everything else because it's just a waste of time. Now, in my area, after, like I said, after 8 o'clock, basically, a lot of the, the restaurants close by 9, now 8.39. So now all, all it is is an influx of all of those, those corporate, you know, chain places. But, and then a lot of drivers drop off, but there's still drivers going, right? And then you, you're sitting for like an hour, half hour, waiting for an order to come through. And then it's not good. You decline it. Then they, then they secretly pause you. Even though it's not a full pause, they're, they're just not sending you orders because they're like, well, you're not going to take the order, so we're going to send it to the next guy. You know how that works, right? Anyway, so it was a 160 day after, after gas and, and something that I got to eat. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling home like 125 for the day for eight hours, which is terrible because <laughs> 200, like, see, what I wanted to make, what I want to make is 250 a day. Or 260, so 50 or 60 of that goes for the gas, and then there's 200 in your pocket. But that those days are over, folks. <laughs> you guys are showing me in the comments that, you know. If people were really having wonderful days, you'd be posting it. You'd say, hey, I made $300 today. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone making that anymore. Now, there's one other thing I want to mention. Is um, a channel that I like and I watch occasionally uh, is the Gig Geezer. Um, some of his views are op oppose mine. I mean, and, you know, we don't. I don't agree with everything he says, and he probably doesn't agree with everything I I say. But I like his channel. I like he's a good guy, and um, it's okay to agree to disagree, you know, in a gentlemanly way and stuff. He probably doesn't know that, but I haven't seen him around. Have you guys seen him around? He hasn't posted any videos in over a month. I looked at his channel, I went on there, I hadn't been on his channel in a while, and I was like, geez, I haven't heard, I haven't seen any videos, and it said like over a month ago was the last time he posted. There was a video that he posted within that month that had to do with the summer slowdown. I don't know if he went to an alternate source of income, or I know he has some kind of an office and he does other things, but I don't know, uh, if you guys know any information, could you write in the comments below and let me know? If he's still around and everything. Because I looked at some of the comments in his last video and no one was saying, hey, where are you? Where'd you go? You know? So, I don't know. Sometimes people take a break. They go on vacation. But usually, if you're going to do that, you know, I, I usually do a courtesy and say, hey, guys, I'm going to be away from the channel for a couple of weeks or a month. But I'm not going anywhere, you know? And I might have to do that in the future. Um, everyone needs needs a break once in a while. You know what I mean, folks? But um, anyways, uh, that's about it for Sunday night's uh, dash report. Um, like I said, I worked eight hours. I made 160, but after gas, it's like 120, 125 coming back at me. So not good, folks. But in order to, to survive, like for me, I have to make at least a hundred, over 100 bucks a day or I'm in big trouble. You know, but that's working seven days a week, folks. Seven days. Now, the only and one last thing I'll say: the only saving grace for me is that that I started that. You know, I'm I'm working five days a week at the pizza place, right? That I was telling you about, and I'm guaranteed fifty bucks a day from that guy, even if I don't get any deliveries. And his deliveries are really slow on the lunch thing, but I usually get three or four, and a couple of the people throw ten dollar tips. So it's averaging out to be sixty to eighty dollars for lunch. I, I I'm hoping I can break a hundred someday. See what it's like, you know, because then it's a little easier when I dash at night. Because then if I only make fifty or sixty at night, I, I I can be good with that because I'm still at least consistently putting the money that I that the absolute necessity money that I need, 
which is over a hundred bucks. I have to make a hundred over a hundred a day, like in my pocket, or I can't survive. And I'm sure that's probably where many of you are at. And I feel bad for people who are paying like insane prices of, of uh, you know, rent and, and everything else. It's 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 just crazy, folks. Let's just hope and pray to God that that it gets busy this this fall and crazy things don't happen. <laughs> You know, anyways, with that said, folks, thanks for listening to tonight's third, uh, third video for Sunday Night Dash. And I will see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.